स्टाफ जनरल अनिल चौहान चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ जनरल उपेन द्विवेदी एयर चीफ मार्शल ए पी सिंह चीफ ऑफ एयर स्टाफ लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल रिटायर्ड दुष्यंत सिंह डी जी क्लास जनरल वी के सिंह फॉर्मर फॉरन मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया जनरल जे जे सिंह जी जनरल नरावने फॉर्मर एयर चीफ जनरल मनोज पांडे फॉर्मर आर्मी चीफ श्रीमती मीनाक्षी लेखी दिस इज द फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया और ऑल द प्रेजेंट सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स डिस्टिंग स्पीक ऑफ संडे गेस्ट इट इज एन ऑनर फॉर मी टू बी प्रेजेंट एम ऑल ऑफ यू एट द शाख्या डिफेंस डायलॉग टूडे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एक्सटेंड माई मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू द इंडियन आर्मी एंड सेंटर ऑफ लैंड वारफेयर स्टडीज फॉर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव before i speak on the topic given to me for today's session of the shalakya defense dialogue i would like to begin by sharing a recent significant development that underscores the importance of defense dialogues on the global stage india and china have been involved in talks both at diplomatic and at bilateral levels to resolve their differences in certain area along the alc Pursuant to the talks, broad consensus has been achieved to restore ground situation based on the principles of equal and mutual security. The consensus achieved includes patrolling and grazing to traditional areas. This is the power of engaging in continuous dialogue because sooner or later solutions will emerge. And I think there is no better place to highlight this power of dialogue. then this played form of chalakya defense dialogue friends the topic on which i have been asked to speak today is india's vision for development and security i consider this is a challenge as well as an opportunity it is a challenge because the subject is broad and multifaceted touching on historical economic and strategic dimensions that are difficult to fully summarize in a single discussion yet it is also an opportunity an opportunity to engage in a meaningful dialogue with esteemed experts and thinkers like you and especially so with the participation of our friends from various foreign countries i am pleased that you have named this defense dialogue after acharya chanakya whenever we discuss the economy and the security Ashar Shankya stands before us as one of India's greatest thinkers. We all know about his book Arth Shastra, which, although written on political systems, also incorporates many elements of development and security. The English literal translation of the Shankya's famous book Arth Shastra is Economics. So I will begin by take, talking about economics. i would like to draw your attention to an interesting fact about the origin of the word economics some of you might know that this word originates from oiko nomium which comes from two words oikos meaning household and nomoi meaning rules or laws simply put it refers to the rules created for managing a household long before the rise of capitalism and the commercial economies the household was the center of economic activities and all economic activities revolved revolved around it over time with the socio material changes the center of the economy shifted from household to society and later to the nation and today we talk about international or global economy throughout history whether in pre capitalist society or modern times one of humanity's primary endeavors has been to increase and strengthen its military war welfare even the father of the modern economics adam smith defined economics as the science of wealth as society has advanced economically new sectors and technologies have played a significant role in shaping development initially agriculture was the 
cornerstone of the economy, representing the primary sector. However, the industrial revolution, the manufacturing sector emerged as a key driver of growth. Later, the service sector gained prominence, particularly in the 20th century. In today's technological era, advancement in computer information technology, satellite communication, and now artificial intelligence and quantum computing are transforming the global economy. These innovations, along with other complex economic forces, have created a highly interconnected and dynamic economic landscape. Despite these complexities, it is clear that the global economy continues to advance at an unprecedented pace. Friends, today, nearly every sector plays a role in both driving and responding to economic development. However, this development has been uneven across different regions and the sectors. Throughout history, we have faced numerous challenges, including famines, wars, and pandemics, which have disrupted progress. And despite these setbacks, a review of the history showed that we have made significant strides since the onset of modern economic development, particularly since the Industrial Revolution. This progress is evident in improved living standards, technological advancements, and increased global interconnectedness. Historically, the study of key factors for the economic development